Welcome everyone to another episode of the Whiskey House Pub House. We have a nice episode planned today. With us as always, kind of, we have Whiskey Lad, Whiskey Boy, Liquor Boy, Liquor Boy, and we have returning guest, Alex. Yes, I am returning. Mm -hmm. I have returned. And with us, that is always returning, is Whiskey, which we were going to have on the episode again. Um, so let's get into it. Sweet. What are we doing? Oh, and we're back. You can't have the intro, Alex. Oh, you forget, oh. You forget the intro. Oh, um, I'll fix it post. <laughs> we, uh, you, uh, sponsors? You have sponsors? Oh, yeah. Well, well, Specialty Java. We'll do it. <laughs> it's going it's to eat my... Oh. Yeah, it'll kill you. It's going to eat my three and a half mil jack or whatever. <laughs> That's expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's just expensive just to get that out of a cat. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just closed. Yeah, there you go. Today's going to be kind of a wild turkey themed again episode of some different very that we variants that we've had or haven't had i should say um but first we're going to do kind of just a let's do a welfare check so alex it's been a while since you've been on on the podcast um i think you were on the four roses and scam collar i think is what we titled it yes that's a good one it's been a while i might i think that's been the last one that's uh, yeah that sounds right yeah yeah your thoughts on that? Did you ever listen back to that? I, I'm I did. Um, I think right after it was posted, I think I went back and listened to it just to you know relive that phone call. That was that was fun. I need to do it again. Actually, it kind of uh, yeah. I I re- remember it now. Oh okay. So I need now I need to go back and listen to it again. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad that we got that on recording because oh yeah, for sure the timing on you can that go was back so to that good. forever now. I, I know exactly. So it, um, I guess as always, we kind of this is a frequent question that the three of us, Zach Carter and I, will ask ourselves: mm. um, Any interesting whiskey-related things happen to you? Anything you've purchased that you would uh, like to talk about? <clears throat> yeah, I, I so I guess the the highlight that I would say. Um, would be the peerless uh double oaked oh yeah was i found it <laughs> i found it and uh it was delicious uh it was i think i paid 90 for it okay um and it was worth it in my opinion and I don't normally, I don't normally uh, spend that much, uh, but it was a special occasion, and they only had one left at the particular store that I went to, so, um, yeah, I picked it up, and it's a, a, a top all-time pick for me, like cool. top top five that I've probably ever had for sure i still haven't had it yeah i yeah you got i i traded you the last of the bottle yep for smoking my trout (laughs) i still it's been i actually got to try it oh oh yeah you did yeah okay so you dylan got the trout okay it was pretty good yeah i don't know if i prefer it over woodford double oak though Oh really? Oh yeah. no! I <clears throat> see. We I haven't had it, but I've heard we, that from quite a few people. We had it side by side. Interesting. And uh, it just not on purpose. Coincidentally, we had them both where we were at, and um, yeah, our our choice was was definitely the, the peerless. Cool. So yeah, that's that's kind of the the big one for me. I I'm not uh, 
able to to look around quite as much so that one is a little bit of a score nice nice uh whiskey boy anything Not much. uh Nothing whiskey related. Anything you got somehow? Other Something than that what, might pertain other than, to the episode, okay, but okay. we'll, talk we'll about have to. That. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that one a little bit. Mm. Other besides that, actually, I did get something. We. Uh, oh yeah. It's part of a a group from one of the counties around here. They did a a, a barrel pick of old elk. And, you know, being from Minnesota, the Vikings, they called it Scold Elk. Mm, original. <laughs> and it was fantastic. Hmm. Normal, uh, I think normal old elk is five year. It's five Fuck. years. Not sure. This one was a seven year. And it was fantastic. Hmm. Might have to do that on an episode sometime. Oh, so that's that's pretty cool. I guess, as with me, I've always um, am adding things mm. whiskey related. I got a forty fifth parallel pick from Ace Spirits. That is cast strength at one hundred proof exactly, <laughs> and it's um, port finished. It's really good. Mm. If we have time at the end, we'll definitely, definitely try throw it. that in there. Yeah, nice. And uh, I was. Able to do the allocated um, raffle at Ace last week. And I was able to get my name drawn second to last. So I had a choice between a bottle, which I think we'll have uh, maybe tonight. We'll see. And a Thomas H. Handy. And I did not pick Thomas H. Handy. (laughs) It's a secret, though. Whiskey Boy knows what, what it is. Yep. He's mad at me. But I think I made the right choice. Well, I also know the other bottle. Yeah. Hit hit the uh, yeah, that bottle. I'm trying that one first. Mm-hmm. So um Yeah, we'll probably have it. Maybe as a part two. And then I got a half bottle from Austin, the you know, crowded barrel people. Mm-hmm. It's their single mom, but it's um from their first fifty three gallon barrel they ever filled. Mm. There was a YouTube video on it, so they uh, that one's kind of a special one for me. It's really good, so sweet. But, all right, well, so on the topic for today, we are doing a wild turkey trio tasting comparison thing. So a little bit of discussion. We have a new bottle or 2019, I believe, yep, of Wild Turkey 101. Uh, another bottle that we have that we found at the current resident that we are, uh, Nick and I are house sitting, I suppose. Mm-hmm. We stumbled across a wild turkey from 2013, we believe. Old label. Not necessarily regarded as a dusty, I think, in a lot of places, but to us, I think it's, it's about as dusty as we have found. Mm-hmm. Um, and a special wild turkey 12 year from Japan. From last year. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to taste the Wild Turkey 101. It's the current one. And uh, see if we find any new notes somehow that we haven't gotten on any other episode with Wild Turkey. And then uh, we'll go to the slightly older one. <clears throat> so there's notes of pretentiousness and mm-hmm. alcohol and... Maybe some caramel and cherry. Maybe a little bit of vanilla, brown sugar. I always get cherry from wild turkey. I just get it always from bourbon, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I guess I can see that, too. Yeah, this one's um, it's pretty good. It's from Buffalo. <laughs> that's, a nice, that's a nice quote. <clears throat> no shot that anyone no. knows what that is. Yeah, I have no idea what that's from. Yep. Yeah, it's, that's yep. fine. Yep. <laughs> But no, it's it, um. I actually get a lot more vanilla on this than I remember wild turkey. That's mm-hmm. kind of what I was actually gonna say. Yeah. Was it uh, especially the? Oh, it's the chime. The clock that's a you know, half that, hour behind. When that when that dings, it means you take a shot. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so every fifteen minutes. <clears throat> oh, I thought. <laughs> no, well, it's seven o'clock. It dinged seven times. I was like, so we have to do seven shots. 
every time it dings, you that, gotta take a shot. That's an option. <laughs> it's, no. That's hard mode. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> no, so yeah, on the um, on the aftertaste, the lingering taste is very vanilla. Yeah, no, it is. Um, I get it. I get it at the start and through like throughout mm. as a consistent note, but then it's like, yeah. Because mm. to me, wild turkey is always more spicy, which it, this is, mm-hmm. but it's um, not as spicy as I remember. Sure, but and then the cherries there and stuff. But yeah, it's very possible that wild turkey one hundred and one is my most consumed bourbon. Okay. Just period. Like not necessarily neat or you know, but just as a whole. Uh, it, it, so I'm I'm familiar with it. And ex- well, it's an extremely well, well-rounded, right? You know, for its use scenario or just drinking neat. It 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 hits that you know price to performance, yep. uh, kind of sweet spot. Mm-hmm. So it does very well in that mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about it's you, just a, uh, liquor just boy? A classic. Yeah, I mean, vanilla, a little oaky. Yeah, just a little bit. And like I said, just always get the cherry out of it. It does have a spice there because the alcohol on it isn't actually that bad. Mm-hmm. No, but it it is a, a present spice. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Hit the tip of the tongue with the spice. Get the spice. It's a very <clears throat> pleasant, very pleasant pour. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. No Pleasing complaints. No drawbacks. All right, liquor boy. Pass this next one. This is the uh, 2013 Wild Turkey. Distilled by Austin Nichols, I'll have you know. Now, if you don't know who Austin Nichols is or what Austin Nichols is, uh, go back and listen to our Wild Turkey episode where we actually explain what Austin Nichols is because it, I'll have you know it is not a distiller. Some people think no, it's, it's not the name of the distiller. Can I guess? Yeah. Austin, Texas. No. It is... Oh. <laughs> it, Austin and Nichols is the name, last names of two people. It was a, uh, it's a company. It's... um. What's the... Like Smith & Wesson. Yes. Smith & Wesson. <laughs> Smith & Wesson. <laughs> okay. The Got that. Back. Smith & Wesson. So, in theory, this is the same stuff. There have been, I think, two circumstances where Wild Turkey has changed their entry proof, but I don't. I believe this is after the latest time. So, see, does it seem different on the nose, or is it psychosomatic? Not, not <coughs> different enough for me to be able to tell for sure. All right, all right. Just seems a little more mild. So. So I believe, I mean, this has that, been, this was purchased sometime between 2013 and probably 15. Right. It's a bit of a, we don't know the full backstory it's been on this thing. opened about three quarters, it was about, well, under three quarters when I found it. Okay. And now it's. Just over half. It's coming close to half. Yeah. So. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Taste time. There is a difference. Yeah. The vanilla is not either as potent or there. Less spicy. It is it less is spicy. spicy. Mm. Or cherry. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? His body's rejecting it's like, the turkey. It's like the Sarlacc pit. That's that's what I am. <clears throat> It's, oh, it's got like a cough medicine note. Mm-hmm. A little bit, yeah. But then it's sweeter on the end. It is. There's a so there's less spice, and I would say there's also less alcohol bite. There's more going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Nick, you want to try this old <clears throat> wild turkey? The old turkey. So turkey. They are the same proof, right? That's they are both one hundred and one. Okay. In theory, there isn't any difference 
between them except when they were bottled and how much or how long this has been um, opened. opened. Yeah. But. Okay. Because I don't think they changed the proofing anytime recently. Like within the last 15 years. I don't believe so. There's a cat in the blinds. There is. Kitty. Meow. I like it because it's different enough. Sure. I don't know. I mean, it's not wildly different, <laughs> but it was different enough to when when I tried it the first time. I'm like, yeah, there's. There, I told it is Whiskey Boy that I'm like, I'm. There is a difference, but there. I think I said originally that it was ninety percent the same. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's more like eighty. Mm-hmm. Because there is a a decent enough difference to it, mm-hmm. um, where you could per, prefer one versus the other. Yeah. Yeah, we're watching that movie after. I'm sorry, but <laughs> the movie. Yeah. Yeah. The rating they chose to put on the cover. Yeah. Of their film. Yeah. Is three and a half stars. Ooh. <laughs> and it just says thumbs up. Three and a half stars. Thumbs up. <laughs> The sum yeah, of yeah, all yeah, fears. That's good enough to put it on our cover. Put it on the front. Well, what if the, what if it's out of four stars though? I don't think it is. <laughs> it's out of three and a half stars. That's what they want you to ask. <laughs> yeah. Having a, a a rating system that is a half star, like it caps out at yeah. one, three, three, three and, and a half, half is a hundred percent. You can't have a fourth star. <laughs> well, like. Two and three it, quarter star. I mean, or is it like a Michelin star where you like gain it uh, progressively and you can get like more of them? It could be out of ten stars. We don't even know. Yeah, it's true. Right. Yeah, it could actually be worse than we're giving it credit yeah. for. Oh boy. Well, there's only or it one, could oh, be three and a half out of two. Only one way to find out. Not watching. So, um, <laughs> movie podcast. Movie podcast. <laughs> no, we should. <laughs> Nick wanted to do a video game one. Oh yeah. I don't know. Mm. It could it could work. It turns out, Nick, I am open on podcasting availability. Wow! <laughs> yeah, His my s- schedule has opened it's, uh, up. It's um, <laughs> yeah, it's altered. I think we're gonna take a different direction. Oh. So now all you have to do for editing is you just gotta figure out you gotta sync your <laughs> no, video no. game capture. Well, then that's Easy. just a then that's just a let's play. That's what Nick wants is the let's play, but he wants to call it a podcast. It's because podcasts are hot right now. So I don't even think they are anymore. What if you what if you just recorded the audio of you playing a video game? Do you think that that could work? No. You recorded the audio, (laughs) but the video of you playing not the screen, just you. Oh, interesting. Only face cam. Yeah. And then you just go like this. Play a game. Interesting. We'll do that for about an hour. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm imagining I'm playing Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to start it from the beginning. So there's a there's an unaired episode of the podcast. I think Ooh. Alex was actually part of it still. Ooh. When we did, it was during COVID, 2020. It was like March. Oh, yeah. We, and did we them, actually okay. screen captured Zach playing Breath of the Wild. And I think you and I were watching him and trying to do having conversations with Zach as we we're playing it. It was it was like a let's play. I don't remember that. I but wonder. it was Zach. Okay. And I think we're on Discord doing it. Huh. I don't know if I have the video okay. anymore, but I did at some point. Interesting. Yeah. What about that uh Minecraft? I still have the footage on mine. Yeah. I, no, actually I might have deleted it actually just now. Oh, okay. But um, remember, I, technically, well, the problem is the server's gone. Right. But I never died on that. Yeah, right. So yeah, it was would... yet to f- be finished. Uh, yeah. Was yeah. that one of the realms, or was it the actual server? No, it was run. We were running on Zach's home computer. No, I think oh. it was. I think it was my extra computer that I had for a while. Right, but it was at his ho- at yeah, Zach's house. At yeah, yeah, yeah. But so. uh, you, you remember how I died? You died in the Nether because did you sleep in the Nether? No, the no. lava was sped up. So he's like, "Oh, it's just lava," and then just all of a sudden, it as fast as water. I was just nether. yeah, I was mining, and it's not uh, the same speed as water. It got me. No, in the Nether it is. But it's faster in the Nether than it is yeah. not. Oh, uh, that shows shows how much I played Minecraft. Yeah, yeah liquor boy. <laughs> it 
anyways, it was tragic. How about the new, like, Nintendo Direct though? I of of <laughs> the what is it? The, Tons of good what's the stuff. new game called? Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. I, yeah. I want to say is that Keys a Zelda game. Of the Kingdom or something. <laughs> That's the, a new it's one. It's the That's sequel, coming out. sequel to uh, Breath I, of the Wild. I never even played Breath of the Wild. Ugh. And I've never played never. any Zelda game. Yeah, you've never Connor's, played any game. Connor's not on our video game co- podcast. No, yeah. I've played <laughs> Minecraft. I've played Minecraft. Well, everyone's played Minecraft. And I played Among I us. played Destiny. Did you play Among Us? For like Destiny. a week. Among Us. Uh, <laughs> and then I played uh, NASCAR Heat 3. That was That was my game. <laughs> Did you pioneer that uh, uh, full throttle ride against the outside wall method? No, of, no, uh, I didn't. Oh, that was that a video you and I? Were... What? Well, so that was it happened in real life. Yeah, it happened like no, a month no, no, ago. No. There, what? And but then the guy who did it, I, the, I forget which driver it was. I, I can't remember. Said, "Oh yeah, I came up with that when I was playing." Oh yeah, NASCAR yeah, yeah, yeah. on yep, yep, PlayStation yep. or no, whatever. No, that, that was right. So I, so I watched a, an old video from like the '90s that there was they set this NASCAR up real loose in the rear. Yep. So the, they call it like the drift setup. So you come mm-hmm. around the corner, like all four wheels are out of alignment. So you're actually essentially drifting the corners, not like how we would think drifting, but like yep. the whole back end was so loose that it was swinging out mm-hmm. so it wasn't skidding out of control but it was like a super loose setup and like the motion carried it through and it was actually faster it was, it's a cool video to watch because they explain it and then like nascar somebody gets an edge or thinks of something cool and then they ban it the next year <laughs> oh yeah because it's stupid nascar is yeah. dumb now yeah but they they show a video of this thing and like all the cars are you know, like you know, going and this car just comes and it's like sideways and then it straightens out and it's just like, well, they, this is amazing. They, they banned that riding against the wall move too. It's well, like, he it's, won, didn't he? No, he went from like 16th to fourth or something like yeah, that. But 16th but to fourth. On the, that's on the last NASCAR, corner. The, yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, I mean, like you said, it was literally full throttle riding the wall. Yeah. There was no steering involved. Right. No net. Na- and then NASCAR's like, Oh, you can't do that anymore. I you can't do that. Shoot they, uh, something. They should have. I mean, like, because, um, well, not Formula One, but I, no, I think Formula. Well, but anyways, like other races have heritage racing, right? Mm-hmm. NASCAR needs a heritage racing. They're like, we're going to have like. Super yeah. Bring, we're going to bring certain cars back from like this time frame, this era, or at least like whatever. But it's like. Bring back Lightning McQueen. <laughs> yes. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. <laughs> Anyways, all right, back to this whiskey. So, what are our, what are our <laughs> thoughts on this uh, this older like 2013 Wild Turkey? Milder, yeah. much milder. Um, n- not necessarily in a bad way. I think it de- depends. Kind of like you said, uh, you may prefer that profile. Um, I I prefer the current one though, the newer one. Okay. I, I like spice. Um, yeah, that's always kind of my my profile leaning is a little spicier. Yeah, I don't think either one of them is bad. They're just they're they are they're different. Like they're they they're obviously wild turkey, but it's it's enough to where you could see it as like one's a different line extension mm-hmm. under the same brand. Yeah, the the old one, I almost get a little peanut right off the right off the front, hmm. and it is it is creamier. Yeah, towards the end. It's got a different mouthfeel. It's pretty good, though. It is good. I like it. Yeah. Obviously, it's not that old, but like I, like the when you hear someone refer to um, like an old, get excited about a wild, old old wild turkey. It's like oh, it's a cheesy gold foil. Yep. Which I forget when when that is from, but you see them on the line every once in a while. Yep. People like crotch shot them or post them and, like. Mm-hmm. In their whiskey bar, and it's like, man, that'd be kind of interesting. To have. That'd be so sweet, yeah. But we won't have that, so not yet. Yeah. So whiskey, uh, whiskey boy, what do you think? Which one do you pick? Hmm. I think I'd still go with the with the current one, the new one. Yeah. It's just it's just such a classic. Something I'm I know and I'm used to. The 
the older one is still really good. It's just different. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's uh, definitely a lot more different than I thought it would be when you first described it. I thought it was just going to be like not as spicy, but it's much more than that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just like the alcohol is dissipated because it's an open bottle. It's it, it actually... Like it's different flavors and... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's interesting. It's interesting to be able to follow a... Uh, a brand that's existed, you know, um, 30 years or, or longer, and then being able to try it at, like, this is what it tastes like 10 years ago, because mm-hmm. th- this bottle's 10 years old. Yeah. And then tasting a modern day and be like, wow, there is actually a, d- a difference in what are the same bottles. So. Yep. But, yeah, well, I feel like we uh, covered that pretty well. So yeah. I don't think there's much more to talk about. Uh, I guess, well, Nick, what, did you try it? What do you think? Oh, official tasting. Oh, he's going for it. Process. Master Blender Nick over here who was uh, famously able to uh, deduce what exactly was in the blend he uh, made on a couple of episodes back. That He was uh, uh, whiskey, given. Whiskey. Every part. Did you ever listen back to that, what Nick's I blend was? Still... Did you listen back? Did Nick's... he make his own blend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you listen yeah. back to it? No, I haven't yet. Yeah, you should listen back to it. He didn't use my blend? You're no, no. No, he made his own. You, you gotta become educated on the situation. Yeah, I guess so. It's got so. grain in it, by the way. It's got grain. It's got grain in it? Wow, man. He's so good. At least 51, at least 51% corn. <laughs> Possibly higher, more like some 70. Some, some would say he says. Mm. So, uh, which one do we prefer, the uh, the newer one or the old one? Okay, yeah, he likes the the new one. He says, yeah, but you, the you, old one is still good. Yeah. It's just different. Like, it is. I like the new one a little better. Yeah, mm-hmm. so well, cool. Which is good because they're making improvements. Yeah, that's yeah, sure, yeah. All right, so we're gonna have this next one, which I'm I'm excited about. This I one's kind of special. I've heard nothing but good things about this bottle. And I've heard nothing. <laughs> I do. I like things I haven't tried before, so that's always exciting. And I think we're about to have that. So, uh, Whiskey Boy, if you care to share with us what, what you brought. So, I happened to acquire the, what would it be, the last year's, uh, not committee release. Or would it be? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not familiar enough with Wild Turkey to know if it's a committee. I saw it earlier when I was looking it up, but. Limited edition. Yeah, just like a limited edition kind of. The, it's the same line of the father and son thirteen year. Oh, okay. Um, but I think that was in sixteen that came out. So it's the Wild Turkey twelve. It's the Distillers Reserve edition or something. Um, it was never released in the U.S. It was only in. What do they call it? It was only for export? Japan and Australia, essentially. Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't actually know where this one came from. Oh. So it could be Japanese? It could be Australian? Well, it, it might... is Japanese because it has the Japanese characters on it. But Oh, okay. Well, then it's probably from Japan. Well, yeah, but I think they all have that. So. <laughs> or it was an empty bottle they shipped back and refilled with 101. <laughs> oh my goodness that would be uh, awesome. they just didn't expect if, anyone to be having them side by side what if that's when he discovers it is like this is the exact same that somebody he will be heartbroken they duped me i would cry <laughs> would you i spent uh, a decent amount of money on this bottle how much if you don't mind how much did you spend uh 200 okay i mean it depends on how good it is and uh 101's like 30 bucks yeah. so so that's that's the difference <laughs> 101 is anywhere from six to six eight to, years yeah yep this is a 12 year yeah so 101 just aged 12 years yeah <laughs> yep. i've heard it's well because there was a 12 year uh they were age dated 12 years back early 2090s i believe so i think that's where the 12 years coming from is it's like call back to sure when they were age dated for a little bit if okay. i'm not mistaken yeah, I don't know. So, it's got a really cool box, though. Open this thing up. Let's pour it. Sorry, I'm stalling. It's a lot of money, and it's all gonna go away once he opens it. 
I just hope it's not as bad as the diamond. <laughs> that was extremely disappointing. He's working on it. it. Just there he goes. All right, in the in the mic. Cork pop. Oh, oh yeah. Let me describe the face for you that made. It was. Oh. <gasps> his. Do I have to take that out? I mean, uh, what? Uh. Believe it. He made me take out everything else. Or any other time we said his name, he made me take it out. Three ounces. Uh, hey, the, the, watch let yourself. Me, let me describe for you the face that Whiskey Boy made. And just he just made it again, actually. He smelled it, and then he smelled it again and made this the same Kentucky? face. What? No, I thought it was from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his eyes rolled into the back of his head. When he sp- and it was like a cross eye into an eye roll. That's kind of special. Oh, I saw the the Japanese text. I saw it. Um, Whiskey Boy actually did a translation on on Google with the photos. Yeah, and this will change. Uh, you got to watch it because it'll. Uh, um, if you're breastfeeding, it'll mess that up. Oh, interesting. Yeah. that's what the bottle says. Yeah, yeah. that's what it says. Okay, but in Japanese. Well, I'm I'm good for that. I guess. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, thank. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, check. You gotta you know watch it. Oh, for, oh my god. Ooh, interesting. The handoff was a sketch. Okay, so I have. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, Whiskey Boy <gasps> punched Dylan's mic. Um, so, what, what are you getting from the nose on this one? Uh, Yamazaki. You, okay, you want to know Japanese something? Japanese words. You want to know something interesting? Cherry blossom trees. The first thing that I smelled was, it, was crayons. Crayons, yeah, like wax? wax crayons. I don't know why it. I got that, but it hit my nose that way. I don't know. I'm just really excited for this, but it does smell denser it, on the nose. It does. It, it almost there's like a berryishness to it. Almost. It smells like a. Oh, I'm getting a call probably from the pizza man. Hold is it on. a raspberry? <laughs> Leave that in pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Tip? Uh, I already did. I already tipped. Here's yep. a tip. Um, I'm uh, from our sponsor, Allstate. From our <laughs> <laughs> what's in your wallet? <laughs> from our sponsor, Pizza Man. So, yeah, Connor's had Pizza Man before. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dylan has never had Pizza Man before. I've had. It's Not been safe. a while. Um, so here's a little story while we wait for oh boy. Pizza Boy to get our C- Can we taste man. it first and then go to... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The cat okay. is playing with a sucker. No, it's trying to rip up the floor. <clears throat> that was funny. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's, uh... There is more caramel. Yes. On the palate. Very spicy. Yep. What's, it is. what's the um what's the proof Ooh. on this one? One oh one. It is still one. Oh it yep. is, okay. <laughs> it mm. it's got a little bit of um a little bit of the banana quality uh that I get from the Woodford double oaked. Dylan is using his pinky as a, a, a makeshift dropper. It's a clean pinky. Well, it's your I own glass. Beg too, to differ. So. All right, that was like five drops. It's it's very caramely. So it tastes much hotter. It does actually than either than of the I, other which one is ones. So interesting. I, so I'm going to be honest right now. It's about 85% the same as the new one. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So I'm, you know what? That though? was before I added water, though. I'm getting a little um, earthy, uh, grassy. Yeah. Almost like sea air. Like it's from the island of Japan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like it smells a, like a um, cucumber tastes. Interesting. <clears throat> what is what 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 is the term for salty? 
uh, I like it with water. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of harmonizes it. Is that, is that the right? That's two words combined, but two no, words combined. I think that's a word. Hum, hum, it's homogenized. Homogenized. And harmony. Yeah. Harmonized. Harmonized. Yeah. He combined two words that it, but it kind of worked though. I'm an inventor. Yeah. Of words. A wordsmith. Yeah, I'm a wordsmith. I, I get some orange citrus at the end, like that little, right on the, the middle of the tongue. Like your, what do you call it when you squeeze the orange peel? Is that uh, expressing? Expre- yeah. Like right on your tongue. I actually do mm. like it more with water. It um it makes it more sweet. It um kind of amplifies the cherry a little bit, but not overpowers it. Yeah, I mean, I I appreciate it. Uh, I do like it more with water. Yeah, it's got kind of a just a more caramely. Yeah, it, it's got that. Just like I'm, you know, the the slight earthy. Um, earthy, salty ocean air. I kind of get that salty. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like you're licking the no, bottom it's just, of the ocean. It's like you're breathing the salty, foggy air at the ocean while drinking Wild Turkey 101. There's a little, <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit more <laughs> dark fruit to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it a lot. No, I do like it. I just, um, would you buy it again? Huh. If I ever came across one again? If if you could buy it for the same price, would you buy it again? The $200. That's a great question. Because I, I don't, I, I would personally not. don't think I would. Nope. Yeah. I definitely I, would not. But no. I'm not the... Kind of person that you spending the ninety dollars was surprising. So, yeah, that's I don't, I don't usually venture me, into triple s- digits. You could spend, um, let's see, you get like eight bottles of. I've never second hand marketed a bottle, so that but that wouldn't be my thing though. So, I think MSR Boy in this is bottle becoming is becoming more familiar with doing that. I want to say one fifteen. Okay. So you paid so, like double, almost double. Act well, I mean, if we're being serious, it was two ten. Okay, yeah, let's we'll so, call it. Let's call double. it double. You get like six bottles of one hundred one of one hundred one oh. to this. So, but it comes in a purple box. That's true. So oh, deduct man, that. The, right. I mean, the value of the box. <laughs> it's got to be fifty and, bucks. And you got to think fifty thousand so, yen. Probably. Is that yeah? What uh, can you run the conversion on that for us, Whiskey Boy? Sure. The yen count. You know, I bought a uh, vinyl from Japan. What was the who who from? Uh, Wolfpack. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. Well, they Why did was a, it a Japanese? It was a Japan exclusive pressing. Okay. Literally, the only difference was that the vinyl was red, but the the website that I purchased it through uh, Q Rates is is the the ones that they have been using. <gasps> um. It, but when you go on the website, you pay in yen. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. I've never that's the old, never done that before. Yen. Yeah, pay in yen. Yeah. How was uh, yen? how was the delivery situation, Nick? Great. Oh, it it's must be. People. It's eight o'clock, but the clock thinks it's the uh, seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. No, the hour hand says six thirty. So it's actually an hour and a an half. An hour and a half behind now. I so, swear it was only five minutes like three days ago. Well, it's one of those things you probably got to like uh, manually wind it or something. So it's, it's 210 US dollars equals 27,599 Japanese yen. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How about that? Yenny. <laughs> Yenny. <laughs> Yenny. All right. Well, uh, concluding thoughts on this 12 year. I think it's good. But like I said, I would not spend that money. I don't even know that I would necessarily spend MSRP on it. What? How much more would you spend above... Uh, the 101, the I, new one. I would pay 70 to 80. Okay. Yeah. That's that's my uh buy point. I was thinking like 
Yeah, I, was, I, was, I guess I was thinking like if, if if I was buying a liter wild turkey, and this is this is a seven hundred mil. Yeah, by the way. I, oh, it's a little smaller. Okay. Yeah, I would say so it's even worse. Probably uh, twenty dollars more, thirty dollars more. Yeah. Okay. To have one always a one twenty to one thirty. Yeah. Kind of range. Okay. Well, I already spent two hundred dollars, so yeah, right. I know how much I would spend. Well, thank you, That's liquor boy, true. yeah, for sharing this. Mm-hmm. It's only been three times now that I've spent over one hundred fifty dollars for some for some turkey, turkey, so, and it, none of them have even us, been masters. Did they, oh, they give us a box of sauces. <laughs> wow. Oh, pizza man. Oh, don't what a, throw what a, blue cheese. What a guy. <laughs> He's a, he's scared of blue cheese. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. All right, we're gonna we're gonna include this episode so we can uh, eat. Thank you. So thank you for listening to this episode of the Whiskey House Pub House, and uh, maybe we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.